Hi, my name is Angel Rivero, and right now I am with Dr. Concepcion Ilao Oreta. Hi, Doc. Thank Hi, you Angel. for guesting in our show. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me here. Doc, there are many questions talaga that surround the topic of infertility yeah. or fertility. But uh, what do you think is the most pressing issue when it comes to infertility? Is it the, the taboo or the resistance of people to come and seek medical help? Well, I think it's because nowadays a lot of women mm -hmm. seek consult later or try to they want to get pregnant at a later age. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just want to make sure that the public knows yes. um, that age is the most important fact. Age of the woman is the most important factor in fertility. Oh. <laughs> so uh, it's advisable whether or not you're, you want to get pregnant, uh, you want to get pregnant soon. Yes. It's best to seek help or at least consult mm -hmm. at an early age. You'll never know what your ovarian function is unless it is checked. Mm -hmm. Just like recently, I had a 29-year-old patient, pa. very young, only six months married. Okay. Uh, I sent her out for an ultrasound. The ultrasound uh, revealed the ovaries to be normal. Okay. But then I was thinking normal size, but a little bit smaller for her age mm -hmm. because I've seen other patients with a big, little bigger ovaries. Yes. And so... Um, I requested for a blood test mm -hmm. for ovarian reserve test. Okay. It's an ovarian reserve test, anti-malarian hormone. Okay. It's a blood test. It can be taken any day of the menstrual cycle. Okay. Um, no need to fast. Mm -hmm. So, and it turned out that her AMH level is equivalent to that of uh, like a 38, 39 year old. What? Yeah. So, so that's what I told her. Um, because usually when we work up patients, we go for the basic test first, mm -hmm. like do ultrasound, uh, check her tubes uh, using hysterosalpingography, it's an x-ray procedure. But okay. for her, uh, when I told her that probably her ovarian uh, reserve is not really that good, mm -hmm. then uh, I offered her the option of uh, doing in vitro right away. Oh. Unlike wow. in other, you know, in other couples, if they are normal, you oh. go through the basic, give them uh, six months or a year to try to get pregnant, mm -hmm. but not for kids. Because um, although we usually start these uh, like 29-year-old patients with uh, 150 international units of the uh, uh, fertility injections, okay. for example. Ito and, po but na fertility injections, may mga side effect ba siya? Will I get fat? Will oh I no, nothing, out, nothing, nothing at all. It's okay. just like your normal. But you you want to give the patients high, higher dose initially at the start, at the beginning of her menstrual cycle okay. in order to gather more follicles or eggs okay. to grow. Okay. So because not in a regular cycle, we just have like one mm -hmm. follicle which should grow. Mm -hmm. To us and should attain a certain size before it can rupture to release the egg. Mm -hmm. The follicle contains the egg. Okay. So this follicle should grow big to a certain size mm -hmm. and uh, it should rupture. That's when we ovulate. Okay. When we say we ovulate, the, the follicle ruptures to okay. release the egg. But in in vitro fertilization, we do hyperstimulation. Mm -hmm. We want, so we give higher dose of the follicle stimulating hormone, mm -hmm. you know, initially. And the effect is madame. to gather more follicles to grow. Okay. Mm -mm. Because, for example, you give uh, this horn or injectables in the middle of the cycle. That's just to grow mm -hmm. the chosen or dominant follicle mm -hmm. to let them grow, but not to gather uh, the number to increase the number of follicles that will Iba grow. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we, you want early. So in in vitro and our IVF. Um, we give the patients higher dose mm -hmm. of uh, injectables and then so that they will grow for uh, many follicles. Mm -hmm. So we can aspirate or get the more eggs. The eggs. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, um, for this particular patient, because her AMH was equivalent to like a 38, 39 mm -hmm. year old, I had to give her uh, the dose for this for age group. For that age group. Wow. So like 450 IU. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, this resulted in the very first in vitro cycle. Uh, I just was able to get like three despite follicles that despite dose. that, yes. Okay. And, um, and uh, it resulted uh, in one uh, embryo, okay? Just one. Just one. So uh, we repeated the in vitro cycle, the IVF cycle, and during the second cycle, I wasn't able to get any embryo. There was no resulting embryo. I think I had only like two or three eggs again, but no fertilization. That's okay. Wild. Yeah. Okay. So after uh, another <laughs> cycle, <laughs> mm, I replaced the the one embryo that we have in the lab. So frozen embryo transfer. We did frozen embryo transfer. Mm -hmm. um, for this procedure, we just give the patients. Um, tablets to increase the endometrial thickness. Okay. So when the thickness is appropriate, we give progesterone, initially estrogen and then progesterone, mm -hmm. and then we time the embryo transfer. You put it now. Then okay. we put it. It's just uh, no sedation, nothing. Oh, it's just okay. like a pap smear. Oh, uh -huh. all right, mm -hmm. all right, okay. And by God's grace, this particular patient is pregnant already, like oh, wow. almost seven months today. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. Yeah. And why is it like that? Even if she doesn't have that many mm -hmm. follicles, because she's only 29. So, so nakatulong pa rin. Being younger, age. yes. Mm, yeah. So compared to, um, for example, another 38-year-old mm -hmm. with many follicles or better AMH level, yes. uh, that 38-year-old may have a poorer quality of eggs. Um, when you say yeah. poorer quality, doc, does that mean that uh, it may it may mean that the embryo will not be normal, or it may not even fertilize, ah. mm -hmm. or it may not grow appropriately? May, maybe for the first day, yes, it may fertilize, mm -hmm. but it will not cleave to grow to a day three or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. because we transfer the embryos, for example, on day three after fertilization. Mm -hmm. We call uh, day zero the fertilization day, the day I got the eggs so that the eggs will be fertilized. Mm -hmm. And so we count one, two, three on the third day, that's day three. Mm -hmm. We can freeze on day three. And then, uh, but if like the patient has a lot of uh, resulting embryos and they're good, we can attempt to grow them to day five because day five embryos are the Tougher, <laughs> yes. Better, yeah. Okay. Mm. Better chances of survival. Mm, yes, yes. Wow, so all these complexities are, are talagang possible despite mm -hmm. that age. Yes. So, kumbaga, as soon as possible is better. Yes. Uh, and see. get the like um, several opinions several from different opinions. experts. Oh, oh. I mean, and then the patient will need to decide which. Uh, what you plan will be best suited for her. Right. Hmm. So at least meron siyang options. Options, na yes, yes, right. See. Um, earlier off cam we were talking about like the the flow of menstruation in women. Mm -hmm. So sometimes sometimes nagbabago to, diba? Yes. But does yes. that sometimes mean na there are already changes happening in your body? Na parang less menstruation means you're becoming less fertile na. Not necessarily, but uh, what I wanted to emphasize regarding the menstrual cycle mm -hmm. is that they need to also pay attention to the amount of the menses, not only the intervals of menses. Mm -hmm. Because when we say one cycle, from the first day is the day one of the cycle yes. to the next first day of the cycle. Yes. So usually it's like 20, 28 days. Mm -hmm. That means that the, usually the patient may ovulate on day 14 around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you know some patients will have fairly regular cycles but some months they'll menstruate like uh, instead of uh, consuming two fully soaked pads two to three fully soaked uh -oh. pads per heavy day uh -oh. they'll just be able to wet one Aye. for fully I mean one full pad per day yes. so that's a little bit you know that's mean it's a sign yes it's a sign that probably she didn't ovulate that cycle. Actually, we don't count it as a real, real menstrual cycle. Oh. Mm. So, I mean, you know, they shouldn't assume they're ovulating. Just because they're menstruating. Mm -hmm. It's best to be seen. I mean, get an ultrasound, get 
blood test for hormones and peace initially. Yeah. Pero Doc, having said that, kunyari na your flow was decreased, it doesn't mean that it's permanent. Parang may oh, no, probably ka she just didn't ovulate. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay I see. But there's also a, la a group of patients where in because they haven't been ovulating for the longest time, like many years, Ooh. Mm, and then they develop uh, endometrial polyps in the, the uterine cavity. Mm. So later on, they'll have heavy flow every month, mm -hmm. but still they're not ovulating. I mean, you so yes, oh. mm -mm, it's because of the buildup. So they develop like endometrial polyps or whatever. So they need to check. Hala. They need to check. <laughs> you definitely have to go see mm, your doctor. Yes. Yun po bang mga ob are they necessarily also fertility doctors or not? No, not really. Uh, we have an organization called the Philippine Society of Reproductive Medicine. So um, those are the experts in fertility. I see. Okay. And in your experience, Doc, um, what were among the impressive ages na nakakita kayo na nabuntis pa rin? Like mga 45, ganun ba? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pwede pa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's not impossible. Yes. Um, <laughs> case to case basis. Yeah, it's a case to case basis. I see. So, what po is your advice to our viewers who are in that boat right now, who are thinking, Nako, I might have issues and maybe I have to see a doctor soon. So, I mean, what can you help them uh, understand? Yeah, please don't be scared. Just uh, go to your doctor, get several opinions. Mm -hmm. And then, because there are so many options in okay. in vitro fer fertilization and uh, fertility treatment, so your doctor will be able to let you know what your options are, what can be done. Yeah, you just have to have an open mind. Okay, and must they have uh, must they have already prepared for it economically? Because I mean, if we go IVF, champre, they will have to spend for that. Yes, definitely. So definitely, it's a bit also costly. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why it's best to. Consult early because when you're younger, mm -hmm. you will need less of the injectables oh. as a rule. That's right. Mm. Last na talaga, Doc. Um, mm. Attitude. Do you think that plays a role? Na of kapag course. Kumare, you're still positive, excited versus yung parang nade-depress ka na. Kasi oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's best to have a good attitude towards uh, the treatment mm -hmm. and don't despair. <laughs> mm. Because the doctors themselves would really want to help you. Mm -hmm. And for example, um, they, they lack uh, funds. At least the doctor can tell you, like, if you're still short for IVF, I mean, you can't pay for that yet, mm -hmm. then at least you'll be doing something rather than nothing, nothing at all. That's right. Mm -hmm. Chaka may chemistry din siguro, doctor, yes. between the patient and the doctor. Mm -hmm. Kaya okay rin na get First opinion, second opinion. Yes, uh, because you know, I always tell patients, mm, when you want something, you pray about it, yes. but you also do your part. Yeah. So you pray and then you consult. I think you need to, you know, follow up. That's right. Mm. Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you so much too, Angel. <laughs>